was the son of a pizza. Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today we're making a recipe I found online. I'm kind of tweaking it to make it my own, but it's essentially eggplant, garlic, provolone, and I'm gonna throw some ricotta on there as well. It sounds really good to me. So we'll see how it turns out. So essentially I took some garlic, cut off the tops, uh, drizzled some oil, olive oil in there, sprinkled it with some salt, wrapped them up in some aluminum foil, threw them in an oven at about 400 for about an hour, and then you have um, roasted garlic. It's super easy to do, and I think it's gonna be super tasty on this. So next I prepped the eggplant. So I cut some thin slices of eggplant, and then I salted them. And I don't know if this is, I've, I've read disputing things about salting eggplants. It's supposed to draw out the bitterness and um, make, it, make it less wet. And this is to draw out the moisture as well. Uh, but uh, I've read a lot of things that say, say that's not necessary. So you can do it or not do it. It's not gonna kill the taste of the eggplant. So, um, so I did that <laughs> and uh, I did get, it did draw out a bunch of moisture, but um, I patted it dry and then I sauteed them in some oil in a saute pan. I just wanted to make sure that they were cooked before I put them on the pizza. And then for the sauce, the pizza sauce, I, I took a can of San Marzano tomatoes and I just squished them up. There's some salt in there and a little bit of sugar because I like my, salt a little, my uh, sauce a little sweet. And that's it for the pizza sauce. And then we're adding the provolone slices on top. I love this so much. Soft, soft dough. Makes me so happy. That's basically it. So here we have our pizza peel with some Alina on it. It's way too much flour. Okay, that's fine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sauce it up. I have some uh, sliced provolone here. You get this at the deli counter. Uh, I think I'm going to put a layer on the bottom first. And here's that roasted garlic I was talking about earlier. Uh, I think I'm going to dollop it on the on top of the provolone slices. Let's get to the star of the show: the eggplant. I'm going to throw some more cheese on top. And then I'm going to throw some dollops of ricotta. This is whole milk ricotta. So this pizza is really heavy and I unintentionally made it super heavy. So I hope it comes off the pizza peel in the rubble here. So let's uh, get this guy in. Look at that. All right, so now we wait. Uh, I'm gonna check in about three minutes and maybe do a flippy flip, and then uh, hopefully it'll be done in about seven or eight minutes. All right, we're at the halfway point, so I'm gonna try and flip it, kind of turn it around. Looking good. So the timer just went off. It's been in the oven for about eight minutes. So, but I'm gonna leave it in for probably another minute, minute and a half, because I, it's still not super brown yet. So I'm just gonna give it another minute and see if it browns up a little more. Also, I hope the smoke alarm doesn't go off because I feel like uh, I don't have a good record with that. So let's hope it doesn't go off. All right, so I'm gonna call it. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna pull the pizza out. Oh, man. Oh, this looks so good. 
no. So the pizza's out of the oven. The last thing we're gonna do is finish it with some fresh arugula to give it some color. I am very pleased with how this pizza looks. It looks very good. It's actually the probably the roundest pizza I've ever made, which is very strange. Um, it's also like thicker. Um, I, don't, I don't know if that's just because of the dough recipe or what, but it's really strange how like thick it is. So we'll see, hopefully it's cooked. Uh, if not, I will know not to use uh, half of a mixture. So I don't think it's cooked all the way through, unfortunately. I can see it's a little gummy at the bottom and the underside is not very cooked either. It's very pale, which is not good. But I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what it tastes like. So let's see what this combo tastes like. Oh, I totally burned the top of my roof of my mouth. Good me. So it's tasty. Um, it's really salty. <laughs> so that's the only thing. It's super salty. Um, it tastes good. Like the flavors are good. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of things I would change about this uh, preparation if I did it again. So number one, I would probably not use this much dough. I would maybe use like a third of it or two thirds of it because I feel like it just didn't have enough time in the oven. Uh, secondly, I salted the eggplant. Um, so it took on some salt. In addition to the garlic, I kind of I kind of smeared the garlic with some salt as well, which bad on me, I guess. Um, so that's that. So maybe less salt. Um, but the like I said, the combination of eggplants and garlic is really tasty. And I think the ricotta adds a nice, nice creaminess to it. And the, the arugula has like a peppery taste uh, on its own. So that's something, I don't know if it's really adding a ton, but it's just nice to look at also. It was a good effort, but I can definitely do better. And maybe I will try this again uh, next time. So. So that's that. That's the eggplant, garlic, and provolone pizza. Thanks guys for watching as always. If you're not already, please remember to subscribe, hit that button right there, and uh, like up this video if you like it. And until next time, ciao for now. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever